Welcome, everybody. I am Dave Lowe. I'm the CEO of ISI Federal. We do data, marketing, business development, support. You'll hear a little bit about the things that we do today. Uh, and some of that includes the things on the right-hand side where you can see market essentials, where we look at everything in the federal marketplace, figure out what happens there, get you smart about the market. You can see the federal intelligence stuff that we have on the, on the left-hand side with, with 70,000 active buyers and just bazillions of different contracts and contacts. GovBrief is what we use to push out the federal stakeholders. And we're going to be talking about monitoring SAM.gov with SAM.bid and the AMP system. We'll give you a little dose of what that looks like. It looks like this. It is live. You can go to SAM.bid uh, and that's all you have to do. Type in SAM.bid. It takes you there. It is the most rocking uh, monitoring system you will find for SAM.gov. And we're going to talk about monitoring awards. It's very, very important to just to monitor awards as well. Who's making noise on me? That's Peter. It has to be Peter. No, it's not me. Somebody's making noise. Is that you? Somebody Who's making noise? Go, dogs barking and everything? All right. Whatever. Here we go. And then we're, we're going to talk about monitoring GSA eBuy because we're a little bit more today. Uh, Dr. It, Dr. Raphael, where's my, just, just for, uh, just for the benefit when we're introducing Dr. Raphael Marrero, I have glasses just for him because I, and I don't have their much, they're not as sexy as yours, Rafa. So you there, Rafa? Yeah, you muted yourself, man. There it is. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I got my glasses for you. So, hey. so, so the good doctor here, he helps folks with socioeconomic certifications that include your 8a hub zone service disabled all those dbe big time big time important thing with uh with some of the the contracts that are coming down right right rafa absolutely uh absolutely and uh we also help out with your branding with yes, your you do. Uh, marketing materials for the government which is fundamental because you've got to come uh and and got to come strong and got to show up the right way you have to present your capabilities so that uh, you get the attention of those who make decisions. Yes, that's true. And you do that. And that's that's part of the process. We're actually going to talk about that in a couple of minutes because you help them not only get their capabilities, you help them rock their SAM, right? That's it. We help you get your ducks in a row. I mean, it's we help you with what's known as procurement and contract readiness. Yes, sir. Uh, we, we help manage vendors. That's what our company does. So we help you get prepared get properly registered to have a strong SAM profile, have a strong capability statement, capabilities briefing, uh, the cert socioeconomic certifications you may or may you may qualify for. And in case you need help from the SBA, we also help you with SBA financing with 504 and 7A loans. Hey, now that's money in the bank. That's what I hear. Hey, Greg Clark, how you doing, man? No complaints. How are you? Good. You're, I'm not even going to introduce all that much about you other than you do proposal writing because you are actually going to take center stage today and tell us about GSA contracts because a GSA contract is something that folks can use, right? And a lot of folks use it to, uh, to the tune of about $30 billion a year total. Is what 30 the billion? Spends. Billion? Yeah. Yep. yep. At the billion. And uh, I'm going to pinch hit for Sally White right now because Sally's uh, usually on here. I'm not sure where she is. Uh, Sally's the CEO of Echo Wolf. She's got a wolf pack that, that she does services for her clients. And that includes, well, I can take these glasses off now because I'm not talking about Raphael anymore. <laughs> and uh, well, Sally's great. She's a great team member. She does opportunity teaming. She's got a lot of contacts in DOE and Navy. And uh, she is one of oh, our- Oh, she's on. She says she's on. She's on. I don't see her. Anyway. She said, well, she's in, she says she's here in the chat. Please start my video. Oh, are you, do you need to, uh, do you need to I approve her? her? Do I, hold on, man. What is going on today with Zoom? Hold on. Where's Old our weather? Yeah, that's what it is. Ah, Sally White. There she is. Hold on. Mute, mute, mute move. Make co-host. Yes. Here you're coming on. All right, White. While she's doing that, I'm going to introduce you to Peter Timbis. She's going to come back on in just a minute. Peter Timbis does contract funding. You're going to be center stage next month, Peter Timbis. Great. Yeah. And your video is not going to work. So we're going to leave that alone. It's probably better for everybody that doesn't just say. <laughs> All right. Sally White's in the house. Sally, tell us about you. Hey everyone. Sorry about Actually, that. We're, we'll talk. We'll talk about you in a minute because I, I, got, I got you set up for for uh, reviewing things at first. So 
with this, I'm going to talk about this session. This session is always free. There's over 3,000 people. I think it's almost 3,100 now. It's every second Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And we get to talk with federal sales experts. Those are people that you've already been talking to and hearing about. We get real about how things work. Do we blow sunshine here, ladies and gentlemen? Never. Never, never, never. We don't never. blow sunshine. There's no silver bullets. If anybody says there are, they are lying to you. Uh, we'll talk about what you can do to win, though, and show off ISI Federal and Friends. And if you don't like the little commercials that you have, just remember how much you paid to be here. That's all I got to say. We're going to be talking about active opportunities, RFIs, RFQs, RFPs. That's what if that's if, if this is what you're after, reaching federal stakeholders and anybody that's touching the federal business. That means the primes and teaming partners that you can you can get together with so that you can turn this market into a stable way of supporting your company. A quick disclaimer, we're not the government. That's what this says. And any participation by the government, and there could be some because there's 236 people here, it's, and they can, in order for them to participate, that's what this is for. It's not an engagement of government personnel to endorse or commit to purchase from any vendor, including you or me or anybody else here. So we appreciate that. If you would like to participate, flip it into the chat, baby. We're going to circle this chat out to everybody afterwards so that uh, you all can connect with each other if you want to. This is a massive place to be able to get to know some other folks. And with that, I'm going to, I don't know if I, am I dropping this in the, the chat? I'm going to drop it in the chat for, for us, for everybody. And while you're doing that, let me, let me make sure uh, people know that if you have questions, put it in the Q&A, not in the chat, because it'll, hey, it'll, it's going to get lost. You got that right. Thank you very much, Greg Clark. You earned your keep today, man. <laughs> he is. He's actually here. He's on his toes. Look at him. I'm telling hey. you. And if you have been living under a rock. And you don't know how Zoom works. You can go up top and you can make us bigger or smaller and just see whatever you would like to see. Today, woo woo. Today we have handouts, I do believe, that are going to be posted in there. Zachary, if you would uh, po pop them in there. And then I'm going to ask, while that's happening, well, I'm going to ask, why in the world did you decide to join us today? Are you new to federal contracting? Bet you didn't expect this when you got up. I have federal contracts as a subcontractor. I have prime contracts and want to grow. Or some nut sent me an email and you can choose as many as you want. The reason why we're here, folks, is we got like trillions of dollars. We don't even know what the real budget is, but we do know that there's going to be infrastructure, cybersecurity, modernization, environmental and technology are all on the table. Right there, Sally White? That's absolutely correct, Dave. And let's Talk to me a little bit about this infrastructure stuff. How do you see this stuff coming down? And this is Sally White with Echo Wolf Solutions. For sure. So there's a lot of opportunity relative to infrastructure because there's serious money available, dollars available to you based on your solution. And Dave and I have actually researched some of the infrastructure scenarios. Yep, yep. And we're creating an opportunity. And it really makes it important for you to learn about what's in your swim lane, so to speak, as the Navy mm -hmm. would say. And we can help you with that. I'm happy to do that. I just put my information in the chat. Um, so Dave or I or uh, Zachary can help you with that. But it's going to be very, very important um, infrastructure dollars, billions of dollars. And you also help folks with, with their whole entire image, right? That's your gig, right? Because once, uh, once yeah. you're reaching out, reaching out to people, you're the image lady, right? Right. And be, like before Dave, before he looked like he did, Dave, you know, just kidding. So I do two things. One, I align. Don't use me as an example. I'm a terrible example. I align with Greg, Dave, Raphael, the team, in that when they assist you in your CAPE statement or Greg assists you in your proposal or Dave assists you in understanding your competitors and helping you figure out who the program managers are, I make sure that your digital footprint and everything about your LinkedIn page, your website, your presentation, your branding is every bit as professional and uh, compelling as your products and services. So image is one thing, but it's more about branding and telling your story. Super important, I have ways to do that. And Second thing I do is I'm an Uber connector. So I know a lot of rear admiral generals, CEOs, chairmen, DOE directors, lots and lots of executives that are not gonna perhaps buy your product, but because I know them and I'm connected on LinkedIn and in other ways, they will let me know who that influencer is, that decision maker in their organization that can help you get to that person in tandem while you're working with my other esteemed, esteemed colleagues. And then Peter, super esteemed person, he'll help you get funding when you get that $25 million, $2 million contract. So that's yep, what I yep. do. 
We're going to be talking about that next month too. Sure. Uh, the are. big thing about the th- big thing to know about Sally is she's a stalker and she's willing to go. No, no, no. I'm not a stalker. You're I'm it's an ethical you stalker. You don't have to argue about it. If you see somebody, you're going up and you're talking to them. In a lovely way, I go in and say how they're doing and find out what they're doing. I don't stalk, but I oh. do have a wolf, so I'm uh, I'm a uh, very specific and targeted in a okay. fierce loving way you're a wolf you're a stalking wolf and my ears perk up as dave says when i hear <laughs> opportunities that will help you so put your name in the chat connect right. with me on linkedin if you want a 15 minute i can give you that thanks yeah that's right and speaking of that if you want something specific from sally let's make sure they they, they get it from you okay so let's make they, sure you can help get your linkedin in shape uh with your engagement message your web presence or something else please call me all right, we're going to get on to the next thing, because guess what? In order to this, and you set this up already uh, for us earlier, Raphael, you mentioned getting procurement ready or contract ready. What does that mean for folks here if they've never been in the space? Because I think half the people have never been in this space. What does it mean to be contract ready and how and, and, and how can you help them do it? That means that you as a provider of goods and services are ready to do business with the federal government. Uh, You have to go through a proper vetting process, and that implies getting properly registered in SAM.gov, having past performance references and the technical specifications uploaded to your DSBS profile, and also having a capability statement that addresses the six essential elements of information that every capability statement should have. In addition to that, marketing... uh, in the federal government does not mean the same as in the private sector. And I can that's say this true. firsthand because we specialize in branding and we know exactly what that's all about. Uh, in order to create a, 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 a strong brand, uh, you need to connect the dots. You need to tell the story. And uh, that's why we help people get their ducks in a row. So it's all about making it easy for the government to do business with your entity, right? It means that you they can execute and pull the trigger because you accept credit cards, you accept P cards, you're registered in SAM, you have a strong capability statement, your past performance uh, uh, references check out, or your CPARs are up to are, are up to par, well, pun no. intended. And, CPARs, uh, <laughs> CPARs, are, right. how, CPARs are how the government measures right. how good you, how well you've done on a contract. For the, That's for, right. I'm sorry, go ahead. Anyway, you look good. On, you look great on paper. You passed their initial sniff test, right? And you're not killing them with like these 50-page decks uh, with marketing babble that has nothing to do with the way the government understands things. And and a procurement person, a procurement executive, uh, or or someone in the supply chain organization of the federal government wants to wants to hear about feeds and speeds, about pricing, and about how you're going to make their life simple. Not about your return on investment net present value, initial rate of return, and all the other marketing stuff that we are accustomed to seeing in marketing presentations. All right, we have a question here. I'm gonna throw this out. Please elaborate how OLM is used. That's from Premi. Hang on a second, Premi. I gotta find you, because I don't. I, I need some context. Does anybody know what? Yeah, I, that, I, I got that. You got yeah. it? So, right. when, so when you're getting on the schedule, you're, you're offering your, your offerings. Uh, at the application level, they're general in nature. There's not okay. there's not a specific job that, that you're looking for. You're just looking to offer your product so that you can get on and then and then interact with with customers about specific needs that they have. So you're offering things at the application level, and then you get approved. I got you. We'll after talk about appro- that. Uh, okay. After yeah. you after you get approved, just to just to finish it up. After you get approved, then you're talking with agencies and the customer about a specific need, and then that's what the, that's at the order level. So those are order level materials that are specific to a job as opposed to okay. the general the application level. And I'm done. Fantastic. Sorry, I didn't mean to unscrew you, what you were talking about, Raphael. <laughs> I just all that I thought maybe it was dealing with your stuff, but it was great. And that's why we're here, right? And 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 and, and you want to also map all of what you offer to the specific codes that the government uses to identify your products and services, right? Such as NAICS codes or North America Industry Classification System codes, which are the codes generated by the uh, Census Bureau to classify your uh, economic activity, right? So if you're in heavy construction, you would be 237130. Or if you're in management consulting, you would be 541611 or in the 54 prefix for professional services, et cetera. 
And then you also want to make sure that your PSC codes, your product supply codes mm -hmm. are properly mapped and aligned to what you offer. Because sometimes a NAICS code has several PSC codes aligned to it and the specific activity. So you cannot find what someone who is who is buying what you're selling unless you are properly mapped and you Correct. show up correctly in your profile. Yep. That is very important. It's not a trivial task. It's not about checking the boxes. It's about representing yourself in the best possible way. And SAM registration, do not fool yourself, is a marketing tool. Yep. You can use it as a marketing tool. And I think that's really important. A lot of folks don't even know what a PSC is, right? And they're not the same as NAICS, right? So they they swim around, they swim around differently, although some are kind of sort of tied. So great information. Love it. Here's some here's some of your success stories here. Just a couple of guys that you helped grow just a little bit, 430%, almost over 1100% and and 123%. So this is the kind of work that you can expect from from the good doctor there. And we're going to ask a poll. And if you answer these, you are going to get follow-ups. Aren't you, Rafael Marrero? Absolutely. Yep. Do you need him to pimp your Sam? Do you need a rocking capability statement? Do you want a socioeconomic certification or figure out if you can get one? Or do you need something else? Have him call you. All right. Appreciate that. And we're actually Maybe doing they're looking good. for cool glasses. Maybe they're looking uh, for some cool glasses. You know? These cool, these cool glasses right here are available on amazon.com. You can get a four pack of them for like $18. Bet you that was cheaper than yours were. I bet they were, and I bet they know why. <laughs> are you? Hey. Hey. Whatever. All right. So, uh, Greg Clark, we're going to yes, be sir. talking a little bit about you. Today, we're going to be talking about GSA contracts, and that means talking about RFPs, RFIs, and RFQs, because RFPs, RFIs, and RFQs can come through that little GSA vehicle. And we're going to be talking about what are they? Do you need one? Can you get one? And how do you make money with it? Because it is it, first of all, first things first, do you bibbity bobbity boo money? Because you get a GSA contract, Greg Clark. Absolutely not. Absolutely. Uh, a, a large segment of people get on the GSA schedule and never make a dollar. Never make a dollar. How can that possibly be? They because did all they the work. That yeah, was all the that's work. That's a shame. That's a shame. You know. What's your What's your uh, what, what What do you say, Raphael? It's like a gym membership. It's nice to have, but you got to work it. It's a gym membership, baby. You got to put in the work. Just yeah. having the membership doesn't doesn't uh, do the job. So I want everybody to know that I've had a gym membership for <laughs> three for for four months, and I've yet to go in the joint. And that's exactly what the problem is. And that's why it's not just a little bit of them either, Greg. It's eighty percent that fail, eighty percent. And the reason being is, if there's anything you take away today, when you're developing your GSA contract, we're going to be talking about that right now. Do it while you're marketing to buyers and federal stakeholders. Is there anybody here that wants to disagree with me? Come on. See, no disagreement. All right, very good. Well, and this is what, like you said, it, 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 the federal contract vehicles, whatever the contract vehicle is, because there's multiple vehicles, right? There's GSA contracts, there's indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity contracts. There's blanket purchase agreements, all these and GWACs and all the rest of the things that you'll find out there. Any of these vehicles, including a GSA contract, is a ticket to the dance or a gym membership. And you can see mine works so very, very much well. And GSA schedules, also known as contracts, right? Both of these are the, are, are the same thing, right? Right, Greg? Yeah, interchangeable. Yep, interchangeable. So what is a GSA contract, Greg Clark? Let me get rid of this other poll. So, uh... The GSA, a GSA schedule contract is yep. uh, you've been approved to, uh, you've been vetted and you've, yep. you've uh, demonstrated the history of providing uh, the services and, and products that you're offering and you, uh, and you negotiate their price, it becomes your GSA price. And now you're on the list with other companies like you and agencies can just contract with you directly if they choose. That, and it's a vehicle. It gives you the ability to get there. It helps. A lot of times it helps the streamline uh, the purchases, and it can be used, it, it's both goods and services, goods or services, right? Yeah, absolutely. And and, and, and it's, not, it's not just GSA that can buy from. That's true. That That's absolutely true. It's a whole, it's whole government and a lot of states can use some of these contracts too. 
Yeah, so, yeah, if it's, if, uh, yeah. States and municipalities and uh, can use it if you're if you offer IT products and services or other tactical kind of gear that for law enforcement. Love Those it. are the two areas. And how long do you use it for? Hint. It's a five year. When you're approved, you're approved for a period of five years with three five year options, and then you know the twenty years you reapply. There you go. Twenty years you have to reapply. So you got. So if you get once you get it, you do that, and and what. Just so everybody knows, before they even start getting into this, what is the minimum they have to make annually in order to keep it? $25,000. $25,000 a year. And let me just say this. If you're in it for $25,000 a year, stop now. You want to be in it for the $3 million that the average successful GSA contractor makes is over is $3.1 million. So there you go. So what is this thing? It's called a multiple award schedule, right? Yep. Or federal supply. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of it. Federal. Some people say federal supply service multiple award schedule. It's it's the schedule. It's, is the is the quick name. Yep. Yep. And there's tell us about the categories here. There's about three hundred different categories, also known as special item number, and it's it's anything from IT services to office equipment you can buy a, you can buy a speedboat office if you need one there you, you can that's true I know, that's I know, true i know I, I put somebody on there that sells boats with the law enforcement <laughs> get out no yeah but law enforcement needs boats yes sir I love that. Like boats, no, it's true yeah. it's, it's amazing i went to a conference <clears throat> with peter timbos it was a small minority conference and the guy next to our booth sold cutco knives like everybody was at the booth and he puts cutco knives on air force one so we always think about interesting products like that. So good point on the boats. I sold I sold Cutco knives when I was. You did? Oh my yeah. gosh! I still have the scar. That? I still have the scar. You still have the, the scar demo. to prove it. Right, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> oh, a, that's yeah, fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a thing that the scissors are made out of nickel, and the, the demo you cut a penny in half with the exactly. scissors, and I and I, and I cut my finger. No, it's, it's biggest great. sale. Biggest sale. No lie, that's my biggest Seriously. sale that day. That day that I, <laughs> that I, I almost cut my tongue off. How yeah. about the vacuums? Anyway, let's we digress. Right, sorry, to, sorry, two hundred forty-five people on the call to care about. <laughs> now we all know. This is, we all know we, this is how we roll. <laughs> so, real quick, the menu of products and services. This is kind of like I, I always uh, make this like this. Look, the government doesn't have to buy from you, but. It's kind of like walking into McDonald's, right? You know what the menu is and you know what the costs are associated to the menu items. And that is the agreement that McDonald's makes with you to sell their goods, right? Hey, yep. it's right there. And so that's why, and you mentioned this, this before, the special item numbers, that's where these are your products or services for that matter, right? It could be either. Yep. And those are, are called sin codes. And sins in this world, in this particular world, in the government world, are actually good. So I'm just saying. <laughs> and and so, how does the government get paid? How does the government through through GSA contracts? The, how does GSA make its money? Yeah, how does GSA make its money? Through the industrial funding fee. That's exactly right. And that is three quarters of a percent that's tacked on to your price. And that is the cost of the government to use the vehicle GSA contract to buy from you. Right. Do they have to use GSA contracts, Greg Clark? They do, they do not. They do not. And that's that's exactly the, the fact. That does so what's make the, it yeah, easy. yeah. What's what's the total budget that government spends? 1.4 trillion or something? Oh, like some that? stupid number like that. That's well, right. uh, also of that, it's about 30 billion that, that is purchased through the schedule. The rest is outside the schedule to give you some kind of idea of how much. Yep. And that, and it depends on, there's a, that, that, that budget is a lot of different things, right? It includes all the different loan compo components and things like that that get thrown yeah. into that. Yeah. Yeah. So do you want one? Why would you want one? Because $30 billion, I don't care what anybody says, that's still a lot more money that I got in my bank account right now, Greg. It may not be the 1.4 trillion or 3.5, whatever the heck it is that they're talking about these days, right? And and one of the other things is GSA Advantage. Tell us about GSA Advantage. So if you if you offer products, and once you're approved, your products go on to GSA Advantage, which is kind of like the government's version of Amazon.com. An agency needs office products or whatever it is. They go to GSA Advantage. They type in what they're looking for, and all the companies that are on the schedule that sell that come in the in, in the results, just like Amazon. And yep. the government shops and they, they pick what they want. They pick the quantity, they enter their government credit card and they buy. 
That's right. And it's less competition. And it's not just credit card either. They can do it with uh, with purchase orders. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, less competition and, and potentially no bid. They just go, they click, they buy. Right. Yeah. The, the, the point is uh, of it is to give the government uh, a way of buying products and services they need quicker, easier and less expensively. Yep. Yep. And this also gets us to e-buy, which there is a question on e-buy. By, from Adrian Jones, who needs some help with eBuy. And let's see if we can find Adrian in this list of attendees. And maybe we can address that right now. Uh, oh my gosh, it is so hard to do this. Well, with so many people. All right. Hey, Adrian, you there? You have the ability to talk? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, Adrian. So hey. What's, your pro- what's your issue with, uh, who are you? First of all, I know you're uh, Adrian. <clears throat> Yeah, well, we do some work with the uh, federal government. We win most of our projects now in 8A, so we just have been approved. For, Congratulations, uh, Adrian. Good good for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but um, I need some help in uh, marketing uh, the e-buy and the GSA schedule because I have – we just been approved that, that we have their cyber scene and – IT70. So I need to get in front of some customers and start. I need to make the money. 3.1 million, the minimum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want to, so you want to drive GSA sales. I want to help you do that. And that's not, we'll talk about that a little bit. We kind of talked about it. That's my, that's my department and my lane. So what okay. I'm going to do is I'm going to, I think I can still do this as long as I didn't copy something else. No, you can do it. We believe in you. While he's doing that, make sure you put your contact information in the Please chat do. box because yep. we okay. save it and record it and mm-hmm. capture everybody. And then send it to everybody at the end. Correct. Yep. And it's impossible to get all your questions. So at the end, if we have time, we're going to, Greg and I are going to do our best to scroll up. Yep. Every time we scroll to a question, it disappears. <laughs> it is crazy. All right. Crazy. Here's, 245 it, people. Oh. That's right. So I just I just popped it my thing in there. If you can scroll in there and you can catch that Calendly link, you can schedule a time with me and we'll we'll get talking about that. All right, Adrian. Okay. And thank uh, you very much, man. It, it, and uh, I wasn't I wasn't using this as a setup for me to to get business, but I'll take <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Thanks, Adrian. Appreciate it. All right. So one of the things, if you do know GSA uh, eBuy. Uh, we're going to pause for a brief commercial, and that is for <laughs> QuickFuse.com. Q-U-I-K-F-U-S-E.com monitors GSA eBuy, packages it, sends it right to your email. Why do we do this? Because logging into GSA eBuy is a pain. One, two, wouldn't it be nicer to just have it right in your email so that you could see it and make a decision without having to go into some other system? Yes, it would. And that's exactly what it is. And you can test drive it for 30 days for free. And guess what? If you stay for a year and you don't get 500% of what you invested into quickfuse.com, you get your money back. There's a couple of things that you need to do, just a little bit. You need to come to roundtables, Monday roundtables, which we have every Monday at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., which is included in your Quick Fuse membership. Come sign up. It's the cheapest thing that you can possibly do if you have a GSA contract because it helps you monitor, not miss, and make sure that you find the things that are good for you. Back to our reg- regularly scheduled program, Greg Clark. What does it mean to all federal buyers for your GSA contract? That means, hey, you're approved and that you're safe, right? Yep. Why, why why does it make you safe? Because it do you just walk up and say, "Bing, give me a contract, give me a GSA contract." You're safe because they uh, if you're on if you're on the GSA schedule, that means that the, that the government has checked your financials to make your make sure yep. you're a stable, solid company. They've checked your past performance to make sure that your customers have been made happy by you. They've uh, looked at your pricing and negotiated lower rates, a uh, lower rate that, to become your GSA price. So you're you're better in that regard as well. Yep. They know all where your products are coming from. They know who yep. makes your products, all of that. You've been checked. Now you have a gold star in your forehead. And, and like you said, Greg, oh, by the way, you like my NASA cup? I need my space. Anyway. Um, ADD much? <laughs> that's right. ADD much? I just saw myself in the monitor, so I did. So yes, ADD a lot. Uh, but the answer is to that, Greg, is it is they it is a vetting process. That's what it is, right? Absolutely. Yep. yep. All right. So let's talk about how you get one. So first, you have the application approval process. 
walk us through a little bit about that. And I think you start with kind of looking at your 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 sins, right? Yeah. If you, you want to get you, you want to get on the schedule, let's see if what you offer is is purchased. So um, we need to see when they say what you offer. If it's services, you need to have uh, past performance. If, um, one instance of past performance, unless it's IT, in which case you need two instances of past performance in the last two years. They need to either have been completed in the last two years, or if they're ongoing, you need to have at least one year performance under your belt. So if you have that for something that matches up with a SIN description, then from that standpoint, you have eligibility, provided you've been in business two years. Yep. And, and you have significant sales, which they don't quantify, but probably at least 100 grand per yep. year. At least uh, that's that's kind of they don't say it, but that's what they that's what they say. Now these solicitations are active solicit. Not all the not all of the schedules are always open, right? The schedules are always open. I mean, there's only one schedule now. It's a multiple word schedule. Now there are oh. VA there are VA schedules. Okay. Um, and they're all always open, but those that's that's uh, that's a different conversation oh. for a different day. Okay, we'll leave that for a conversation for a different day. So when you say the solicitation, it's it's the package that you respond to with your application. Right. Yeah. Got it. So I stand corrected. See that, ladies and gentlemen? They're all open. So latest solicitation is what you're what you're looking at for what they're saying you need to submit to. And yep. then you construct these this master set of documents, which has just all of the things that they're asking for, right? Yeah. If you printed it out and said it because you you know, back in the old days when we were doing it, you had to print it and put it in a binder and ship it. And it, you put it on your desk and you could see maybe your nose up. I mean, it's that much information that you're going to be uh, that you're going to be compiling. And then you upload to uh, to EOF for that portal. Yep. And then they do a review and then they come back to you with clarifications. Almost always. Wouldn't you agree? Always. It's not almost always. It's always. It's and, always. And, and what that looks like depends on who your evaluator is. Yep. And then you get to the negotiation, right? Yep. Yep. And what does this mean? The negotiation, what does that mean? That means you, you well, their, their status that you provide all the clarifications to the, so they're satisfied with your application. And now it's time for them to talk with you and negotiate what your discounted rates are going to be. So let's say you offer this labor category for $105 an hour. And they say, well, we want to be here on GSA. We want your GSA price to be discounted to $100 an hour. And you say fine, so that becomes your GSA price for that labor category, and you're going to go through that one by one for all of the offerings that you've included in your application. And I will say this: don't say fine if they're drop if they're making you drop twenty five percent. I would say don't say don't say five. Fine. No, I said one hundred and five dollars. One hundred five. Okay. Five percent. That using that as round numbers. Yeah, yes. and and I have let me say this: I don't get a whole lot involved in this, but sometimes we've done support for for those numbers in the past. I'm just going to say, do not make the mistake of going in with the lowest number that you're seeing to compete with somebody on GSA. I would no. never do that. Never, 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 never. Go to the highest number that you can support within your, your number. Give them a 1%, 2% discount on that. Yep. Yep. Whatever you can negotiate to be the thinnest amount of discount and go after it that way. And I'm and telling you, if, if you listen to what I just said, everybody here, I just saved you and made you Hundreds of millions, thousands of dollars. Millions. And Greg, yeah. you have a lot of questions, sir, about okay. GSA in the chat. If well, one sec. We will get there. I, I will get to that. As okay. far as that, as far as just to finish out that point, Dave, as far as, um, you know, it kind of it kind of goes against c competitive nature that you want to have your price as high as possible. Well, you want to do that, as, have it as high as possible, because then then if there are, is business that, you're, that you really want to go for, now you have room to get aggressive. That's right. And you can always price. discount. You can yeah. always discount. But you can give it, but you can never um, you can, charge more. You can never charge more. Ladies and gentlemen, that advice is worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, and you just got that for free. That yeah, you, will, you, 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 yeah, you want your prices to be as high as you can, as you can get. Yep. It's still going to be, it's still going to be your lowest price that you offer to anybody. But that's right. Not, it doesn't, but it doesn't need to get discounted to a ridiculous amount. You're, that's it's right. still going to be, it's still going to be lower than you offer to anybody else, but it's, it's going to be just a little bit under. And remember that their job is to shake you down. And your job is to hold your ground. Yeah, and we've we been go. through it. We've, we've, we've got 425 companies on the GSA schedule. So we've been through this negotiation phase. We know what they should be asking for and what we know what's unreasonable. And we're not going to let them put a gun to your head. Which is the next thing is why in the world should they use you when they can just go do this all by themselves? Because, and here's one reason, four to eight months versus 12 to 18 months. 
And believe me, you're going to do the work anyway. You just want to get it faster. That's that's my thing. And and would you say that you guys know the game? I'm going to say DKA knows the game. That's what you just said it. 420 some odd. Yeah. Uh, and and I, I made these slides up, so I'm going to sell you. And that is you, they help you protect the margins and the cost there's, of tax deductible. Yeah, and, there's, and, some and the, and, there, there's some things you don't want to try at home and do at home. And this is one of them. You want to use Greg and his team. Yep. So there you uh, go. Look, plenty of companies I know get on uh, do their own applications. I don't hear from those people. I hear from the people who say, I've been trying to get this done for two years <laughs> and I can't make progress. Whenever I start to make any progress, they update the package and I have to start all over again. And a month later, we're sitting in their application form. Yep. And three months after that, they're approved or, or whatever it is. Yeah. And it, and there's, there are no guarantees, right? There are no guarantees at all. Yep. Are there any guarantees in life? Death? Yeah, <laughs> That's taxes. one. And taxes. And that Dave and I and Raphael and Greg will be here every Tuesday. <laughs> and Dave and I and Zachary will be here every Monday. <laughs> you might be. All right. So um, here, here's the deal. So you're approved now what? Okay. You got to get to marketing. And guess what? Guess what we're doing on Thursday? This Thursday at 1 p.m. On GovBrief, you can go to govbrief.us. If it doesn't work, let me know. We've had some issues with this today. Um, but we're talking about saving your GSA schedule from cancellation. Why would we have to talk about that, Greg Clark? If you are if you get approved on the GSA schedule and you ask now what, you're in trouble. <laughs> right. You need to ask that question before you start your application. You need to know who your buyers are going to be and how you're going to market to them. And you have to have all those questions answered. You don't want to go through this effort and expense of getting on the schedule, get approved, and then say, now what? Yep, I agree. You want to be marketing now. Give yourself a problem like, like somebody wants to buy off a GSA contract and they want to buy from you and take it to Greg. Greg will say, I got 425 people. Let's find somebody that we can team you with so that you, they can buy from you right, right today. Give me a problem like a sale. Give me that kind of problem and that's the kind of problem that you want. So you want to be marketing these buyers and stakeholders all the time. Don't wait for the money to come. It's not going to fall from the sky. You have got to go get it. So with that, I'm going to open this up and then we're going to get to your questions because there's a bunch of those Lots. here while we're answering the poll. Hold on a second. Greg, please help me. Now, you also do other things besides CSA contracts, like respond to things on SAM.gov. We're not talking about that right now, but that's what it means with a current proposal or future proposal. But there you go. So there I have it. So if you ask for this, you're going to be talking to Greg Clark and his team, and uh, and we're going to keep, keep you cooking. All right, let's get to these questions. Sally, you can help, but I'm going to say, Todd Crane, I'm going to answer this question first. Does that have to be 25000 every year, or we, we can average at least $25,000? First two years, you got to make 25000 After that, you got to make twenty five grand a year. Right, Greg Clark? That is correct. That is correct. So I'm going to say um, – I'm not ignoring you. I have the questions over here. All right, so who so can Greg, provide you wanna, in? You want to do your questions, Greg, or do you want us to read them off? What do you want to do? Um, so, well, I'm going to read them. Let me read yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go for it. Go for John it. Stanfield, who can provide insights to category management for NAICS code 512110 motion picture and video production? That would be Rafael Marrero and me. So feel free to reach out to, to us, John Stanfield. And um, if you have a specific question about that, but that's um, – that's what we can give you insights to. Yep. Um, can I use GSA as a staffing agency? If so, how? Greg Clark. I sent him a, a link to the SIN for staffing. Okay. And the answer is yes, you can use you can use GSA for just about everything. Just not about quite. everything. Not quite. Just about. All right. So we did that. Oh, let's see. Oh, you already did that. I'm reading the wrong freaking thing. You're reading answers. What you're no, doing, wonder, Dave. no wonder you guys are saying, like, why don't you let you, me Dave? ask the questions? All right. Can we get a copy of the webinar? You will, Constance, after this. You will get a copy as well as a recording. Our product is a new style that doesn't fit into one bucket. What's the best way to introduce it to buyers? Well, let's talk about that motorized treadmill. Do you think they use motorized treadmills, Greg Clark? I think they do. I think they do. So, Joanna, that's on me. So when we ask, we, when we're talking about marketing stuff, you want to answer, you, we, we will reach out for you for that. Are there a good number of opportunities on GSA schedule for architecture and engineering firms? Caitlin, you want to take that one? Yeah, there, there, that one? there are not. Um, the, the Brooks Act prohibits new construction from being uh, um, purchased through the GSA schedule. And the reason is, that, you know, Americans want 
big construction contracts to be competed in a very public way. And if you're on the schedule, they can just they can just hire you. Yep. And so there you go. I'm going to end that poll real quick. Um, so yes, so that's, that is one of the areas that is not good for GSA contracts. Now, specialty trades can be, right? Yeah, right. I mean, do you, I mean you, so the way right. that the, the architecture and the engineering firm can get involved in the schedule is offering professional construction management services. Correct. And professional oh. engineering services. So the professional, but not, not the Davis-Bacon labor wage. And, Correct. and that Correct. being Correct. said, and Dave may get to this after when he talks, and he and Zachary talk about ISI, but on the construction contracts and others, that's where Dave and the team come in because they can help you learn which primes have received those contracts that are similar to your NACE code. So even though it doesn't align with uh, GSA, we still have something to help you with later. Correcto. Okay. We'll talk about that too and, and a, a tool that we just yes, built we for will. it. Thank you very yes, much for will. the setup, Sally White. You're welcome, yeah. Dave Well. Yeah, yeah. All right, Greg, do you have any experience with 3D printing, Sin? What? I, I do not. Okay, I, that's that's one that I've uh, worked with. So I actually do. So connect with me. Um, I had a I have a customer that does three D printing, and I've spent the last three months connecting, so I can connect you. And there's some really cool things on three D printing. So I'll put my information in the chat once again. But Fan, that's for Michael. So if yep, you get if you get reached out by Michael, that's the guy. And, and um, they're in the middle of GS create of their GSA uh, getting that completed. Completed, <laughs> John. How much business goes through GSA Advantage not through versus not through GSA and GSA Advantage? Uh, GSA, I don't know the exact numbers because it's very difficult to tell. I could, I can take a guess that GSA Advantage is probably in the world of five to six billion dollars a year, and um, you can do the math for what would normally be five hundred and fifty to five hundred and seventy billion of the normal type of contracts that we're talking about here outside of all the crazy political stuff that you're talking. So it's a small, yeah, it's a small percentage. Um, is GSA Advantage only for OEMs or can we resell on Advantage? You can resell on Advantage, right, Greg? Yep, absolutely. Yeah, yes, there's plenty, plenty of distributors. And the most famous person here, the anonymous attendee, to what extent <laughs> does this advice, <laughs> to what extent does this advice apply to European or other international companies looking to invest in the U.S. to bring their product to market? Do you have advice uh, accessing government funding for non-Americans, especially on infrastructure? Yes, anonymous. Uh, anonymous. Anonymous. <laughs> I can't even talk straight. Anonymous attendee. Um, you want to, we, we can help with that as long as you're not from China. Is that a, is that a good He's answer joking. from everybody? <laughs> Or different. there's a couple of other countries that you can't be part of either. But the, the vast majority is if you're European, we can help you do that. We have helped people do that and you can do it too. Uh, there's some there's some pieces of that for you to do in order to make that work. Right, Greg Clark? Absolutely. There's plenty of foreign companies on the schedule. Holy cow, or, Julie or, missed the Rafael. I'm sorry. What or was that? Cuba. They cannot be from, from Cuba either. That's right. Remember, there's a, there's a prohibition on trading with the enemy, so we can't. Uh, they're with the Cuban regime. All right, I love it. And 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 Julie Branson missed Raphael's poll. So Rafa, put your information in the chat, and hopefully they, she, Julie can find it because that's where that she's she's going there. All right. What if your industry is not well presented, well represented by the in the NACE code? No, no, no shock there, Mary. NACE codes are are some. They don't so, work very well, but that, that's, that's, that's what they use. So and that's where Raphael and others can help because yep. you can get around that by there's a lot of things on the edges that you can get around to. And that's where Rafa and others can help you. Definitely yep. a Raphael question. Definitely yeah. John, Raphael. Stan John right. Stanfield, you want to reach out to Rafael Marrero because he is the best position to assist with HubZone and or 8A certification. Am I right, <laughs> Rafael Marrero? Absolutely. All day long. All day long. Every sometimes day. Sometimes all night and sometimes on weekends too. Sometimes, right. yeah, that's right. Okay, hold on a second. I, I went from the bottom. We did it. All right. Um, a startup company, as a startup company, what avenues are open to for selling to the government? All avenues are open to selling to the government because you can you can pick up the phone, you can talk to decision makers, and they can buy from you. You just just that's the biggest thing that you need to do is start talking to people. And oh, coincidentally, um, Deborah, is that? Uh, we will we'll be talking about something right now coming after this that will that you yes. can use today about that uh, professional. We did everything else, right? We got everything. 
think so. I think we did. All right. Very good. Fantastic. So right there back at you, Deborah. Um, what's happening to my screen share? Oh, okay. We're going to be talking. This is what you can be doing right now. Everybody. You don't have to have a GSA contract. You don't have to have any other any other mechanism. You do need to be registered with Sam if you want to do business with the government and you want to get paid. Am I right, Rafael? Absolutely. Absolutely, baby. So Sam.gov has opportunities. Those opportunities are posted on Sam.gov. Shocking, right? And if if you want to throw your, your thoughts on Sam.gov, I think we only need one, one reaction to that. You can say in the chat what you think about it and everybody else is going to high five agree with it because it is absolutely a piece. All right. So there you go. So Sam, that's why we built Sam.bid. I talked about this a little bit earlier. This cut is a custom monitoring system that can go by NAICS, PSC, or keyword. So you know first, you can review it, you can propose, and you can get to the place where you win. Here's the problem. The number one problem with Sam.gov is this. Only 2% hit Sam.gov. Now you can do that for $89 a month, right? and get access to those 2%. Everybody get that? It helps you do it faster. All that does is it gives you Sam.bid in Sam.gov in your email box. Why would you wanna do that? Because you don't wanna to have to log into Sam.gov or remember to log into Sam.gov or to find the stuff on Sam.gov. And if you wanna know, just go to Sam.gov and type in flashlights with an S. If you look at flashlights with an S, you will see an active solicitation that is over a decade old. And that's one of the problems that you're going to find on Sam.gov that you will never, 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 never have on Sam.bid. It sends it right to your email. Why? Because you live in your email every day. You don't live in this app. You want to go to your email every day and see what's happening. And that will get you to those. Now, this is reactive. If you wait until it hits Sam.gov, you're already too late. In 90% of the time, it's a reactive mode. All right, how can we get proactive? That's where we built the system. And I'm going to tell you how this works. One out of five, 76% of the time, awards are given to one out of five companies, 76% of the time. That is because it is built on trust. Building trust means you have to have meaningful conversations with individuals in order to build trust. People don't know you. Why should they trust you? And so how do we do that? We do that with exposure. We do that with engaging the individuals. We do that as exhibiting our qualifications with our capability statement. And we set ourselves up as an expert in our field, even in commoditized pur purchases. You can be the expert at turning those things around and doing what's best for the customer. It doesn't have to be super specialized. Everybody makes decisions essentially this way. And that's why we built the AMP system. It rides right on top of Sam.bid that shows you the 2% of opportunities, but it also gives you access to the 98% that don't hit the street. This is what Sally was talking about to say, hey, what if you knew who the prime was? Maybe you want to sub to the prime. I tell you one thing you want to do is you absolutely want to know who the buyer is, who the prime is, and what the award is. Because if you do that, and oh, by the way, if you know that they just did that yesterday or a couple of days ago, it's on the buyer's mind, it's on the prime's mind. And you can talk to somebody and you can use that intersection point as your value proposition in the conversation. That means in three seconds, you have to tell somebody why it's important for them to talk to you. Now you have made the three seconds. Then you get 10 seconds to prove that you're not an idiot. And then you have 30 seconds to drive them to some sort of a decision. <clears throat> That's what you want to be doing. And Sam.bit with the AMP system is $4.99 a month. But wait, with a Cutco knife salesperson, <laughs> That is ah. half off today. Oh man, I'm sorry. That half off my thumb. One. Half off my thumb. Half off your thumb. Oh. Half off your thumb. <laughs> so you can say if you get if you go and you sign up and, and you, you can get that for half off. That's $249 a month. And it will give you what you want. You save 50%, but you get a hundred percent of the market, including, including, including the Sam.gov solicitations. 
And there you have it. So now you can go there. It's all it is www.sam.bid. Click get started and choose the AMP plan, which is on the right hand side. And that's the one you want to pick if you want to monitor for opportunities. Now you might say, and I'm, I'm monitor for awards and opportunities. Now you might say, why do I want to monitor awards? Are you just telling me that I'm a loser? And I'm like, you are already a loser. You just don't know it. You want to turn that around, reach out to the buyer reach out to the program people that are responsible for delivering that from the prime and you get that. And this is what it looks like. You get five to 15 leads every week so that you can be proactive. Biggest word that you have got to remember from this is be proactive. Buyer contact information, award contact information, including the, the prime contractor who awarded it. And you have 12 month buyer history report. That means not only can you talk about what that buyer has bought today from that particular competitor, you can they can talk about all the competitors they buy from and you can get a good picture of what that buyer buys. And it also has a NAICS and PSC report. So you can see the competitors in your space with that intersection as well. So with that, uh, we do have the winnable opportunity matrix that I'm gonna talk about in just a minute. Um, you can get the other thing, just go to sam.bid, sign up for that. So back to our regularly scheduled program. Once again, how do you build relationships with stakeholders? Well, first of all, I just showed you the tool that you can use. And every day you can reach out to a stakeholder. It's not 10,000 in a month. You don't have to, you can, we can help you do that. But I'm talking about doing this on your own and picking up the phone, talking to key decision makers. And these are the people that you are talking to. You want to move these contracting officers into the green. What does that mean? They just, well, if they don't know you, they're not in the green. They're buying from somebody today. You have to tell them why they should be buying from you. I want to tell you a little bit about contracting officers before we let you go today. They are busy or they think they are. And most of them are. They're not going to teach you how to do their business. Are they Rafael Marrero? Is any, are any of these contracting officers, former procurement man, will they teach you how to do business with them? Absolutely not. You're a high risk proposition and a newbie. And if, if that's this, that's how you start off and you're not, you're not going to get anywhere with, with the uh, contracting officers because you, uh, you represent high risk. You're in yeah. the high risk quadrant. And why would you be considered high risk? They don't even know who they are. Well, that's why. <laughs> that's, that's one right there. Number one, right? It's all about vendor risk management and yep. you are very high risk to someone that doesn't know you if you don't know how to do business with them. That's right. That's the and that, and you got to look like you know, need the part. And that's why Raphael does what he do. Is, that's what he there's, there's also I'm a really important part that Raphael and the team does and that prepares you. Like if you ever had someone call you and say, hi, are you interested in buying something? And you say, hey, have you looked at my website? And they haven't even bothered to check you out. So government contractors, program managers are the same. They want to know when you get them on the phone, you have respected them enough to have done your due diligence. Yep. And that's where uh, Raphael can help and the other team and get you ready with, with all that. Yep. And doing the research, that's what Sam dot bid with AMP does. It gives yep. you the research right there in front of you. Yep. So they're risk averse. They don't like new things. And guess what? If you haven't talked to them before, they haven't done business with you, but you're, <laughs> that's what, that's what Raphael's saying. They, you are risky to them. They're experts in moving paper. What does that mean? That means that their job is to execute the contract. Not, 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 they do not care how good you are at what you do. They really don't. What they do care about is if you get on the phone with them and you say, hey, I'm connected to this person on LinkedIn and this person happens to be a senior level person in their organization, they will listen to you. That's for, so that very, is very true. important to connect. Coming from, coming from the Uber connector maven. That's exactly right. So th what they also do is they select the purchasing mechanism. Yes. Is it going to be GSA? Is it going to be 8A? Is it going to be service disabled? Is it going to be hub zone? Is it going to be woman owned? All these decisions happen in the con from the contractor. So they develop the documents and guess what they want? The fastest way to procure that thing. They don't want it on their desk. They don't want it on their desk. So your job is to make it easy for them because they love easy. In fact, do their job for them. Show them your information on standard form. Show that information on the same way that they would have in, a, in an RFP. We did one. We just did unsolicited proposals last month, right, Greg? Yes, we did. We had we had 240, 270 people or something stupid on that thing. It was awesome. So the question is, do you want a jumpstart in 
We're going to get you out of here in just a minute. I promise. Do you want to jumpstart in 2022? If you want to jumpstart, yes, and helping you find buyers in the market, that's us. That's what we can do. Do you need a jumpstart and help you reach, reach those buyers in the market? Yes. We can do that too. If you want choice three, have no idea what choice three is, but you can pick that too. <laughs> and your budget is, uh, let us know what your budget is and we will build We will build for you exactly what it is that you can do within that budget. That's our promise. We will do that. We don't suck you dry. We want you to be successful and we'll get you to where you want to go. Because what you are looking for is, we have 77,000 active contracting officers. Which ones are buying what you sell? I can tell you that they do it. This is construction. And oh, by the way, there's $70 billion in construction in the market. And oh, by the way, these people also have GSA contract, GSA contracts because they're construction management firms, which Greg can help you with if you are such a thing. And it is 123 contracts with 423,000 contracts with 409 com- companies. And what did I tell you? 76% are shortlisted. That means that they are going to one of five people. The people you're after, 6,000 buyers. If you want to reach those guys all at once, that's what we do. Because if they don't know you, how can they possibly buy from you, Rafael Marrero? Right? That's right. Yep. Your job, get on the buyer's radar and make it easy for them. Dave, it's, Dave, one quick question. You mentioned that um, you would be asking something about Peter. He's doing something, Peter Timbers. We're doing that. I'm going to talk about that next 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 month. He's on next, next month. Next month. Next month. Peter Timbus. So that's Peter Tim is on next uh, month. Uh, uh, so it's hard to reach them if you don't know who they are. So we do contract con- contact reports, contact activity. This is also included in the AMP system at at that level, just on an individual basis. If you need more of those, we can build it for all 6,000 of them if you want to. We can get you what, what you need there. So now we're going to get to the place. We're going to end that poll. Thank you very much. You will get reached out to everybody that's there. I want to talk to the 5% of people that took choice three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second, man. I didn't even see that. Let me show these results. I'm going to share the results. This, there's 5,000 people. Uh, choose three. <laughs> Fantastic. We, de- you will, we will be talking to you because that, that's awesome. All right, stop sharing that. All right, we're good to go. All right, so um, do, do you need professional help? Well, everybody here knows that we, we need professional help. Yes, so we that, do. That's not the question. <laughs> Every, everybody knows. Yes, that's we funny. do. So while we're doing this, we'll be closing out with answering some questions, but let us know. Professional help. We don't do certain professional helps. Sometimes we need the professional help too. So um, let us know about that. Uh, let's get to uh, the Q and A. Do we do we answer everything? Is it? I'm going to go from the bottom. Right. So yeah, is there, there a way to make questions. our is there a way to make our contract update a priority? How do we get them complete? <laughs> You're asking GSA question. That's a GSA question, I guess. Yeah, we got a GSA MASA contract and can't seem to get it updated. It, what used to take two to four weeks has now been more than four months. Greg, can you help with that? I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to find the question. Out. It's down oh, the bottom. Yeah, I'm, the I'm, I'm looking at it now. John yeah. Stodola. All right. John Stodola. Uh, that that's uh, that's part of the that's part of the deal. You never know what's going to happen, how long the, the modification process is going to take. I agree. Sometimes sometimes it, they get done in two weeks. Sometimes it takes four months. And you, and you never know what, what you're going to get into when you start the process. It's the same with the application process. You know, you get it, you get it submitted and is this going to sail through in three months or is it going to be eight months? You don't know. And there's nothing you can do to change it. It's the luck of the draw. Whose desk does it wind up on and how many do they have to get through before they start yours? Yep. And T- Troy's asking, can Rafael reach out to me to discuss pricing on Hub Zone Cert? I have done it before on my own, but may not have time to this go around. I, Rafael, do you want to take Troy's money? <laughs> we'll be very happy to uh, to assist. Um, I'll post my number up on the screen and uh, feel free to reach out and we'll set up a one on one Zoom call. Yep. Okay? Yep. And put pop it in there in the chat and we'll also show your number in just a minute. In fact, I'll do that right now while I'm waiting. There's Raphael's number. 
Uh, can we do this on a trial ba basis from the famous anonymous attendee? I'm assuming you're e either saying <laughs> either saying it's Sam.bid with the AMP system or Quick Fuse. Quick Fuse you can do for 30 days. Sam.bid you can do for for seven for seven days. And we're doing that because so, so we're not Dave, giving away to wear a mask instead of being anonymous. That's going to be a rule now on the, the webinar. <laughs> chicken mask. A, wear a that's chicken the same mask. as wearing. <laughs> that's the equivalent of wearing a mask online. <laughs> Come on. yeah, seriously. Oh my gosh. Wear a chicken that's mask. Funny. Come on. All right. All right. Fantastic. Oh, there you go. Let's uh real quick. You can find ISI Federal on YouTube and LinkedIn. Please send me an invitation. If you type in ISI Federal, you cannot miss me. I promise you that. Uh Greg from DKA, there's Greg's information. And if you want to pop it into the chat, you can do that as well. Everybody's gonna get that. that. Rafael, Raf, Dr. Rafael Marrero, here's your information once again. We had you up there before, but you can reach out to Rafa there. Sally White, who's like the Uber connector, is she's there. And we didn't get to talk a lot about Peter Timmis. Peter Timmis does contract funding. We're gonna be talking about that for the whole session next time, Peter. So you're gonna be you're gonna be the rock star in front of everybody. And because oh, you're having very issues, much. and and we got to fix your issues with your camera. Yeah, I'm gonna work with him on that. Yep. Hey, Dave, when we put uh, Greg on, can we have vehicle, you know, the theme song? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And, uh, Dave, before you close out, let me have an opportunity to teach people how to save the chat. I know you'll be signing up, but. Yep, you can do that. Okay. You, you can do that. You can Go ahead. You're on. Okay. So at the bottom of your chat, you see it says everyone. To the right, you see a little box. You see a little smiley face, and you see three dots. You click on the three dots, you click on save chat, then you click on show in folder and it has all of the information, you open it up. If in the unlikely event, you weren't able to do this, no problem, we've got you. Um, we can send it to you, we will send it to you, but I want you to, for those of you like me that want to have it immediately, uh, you can do that. All right. I have no idea what, what those steps are. We need like a, we need like a, ISO five, ISO 9,000 flow diagram to, just to say that chat. And there's like a thousand questions in the chat that we didn't get to, but oh well, if we can help you after, we'll review them and send you well, information. Otherwise, you know how to contact us. We've all put our information in like 500 times. Yep. We, yeah, we will do that. We if love you. Is there any, anything in there that's raging that, I'm, that, that we can answer? Because there's like 10,000 things in that chat. There are. It's ridiculous. Um, if you have a question that we didn't answer, put it in the Q and A, and we'll we'll stick around for yeah, a minute and we'll do and it. And if you need help on learning how to do Zoom, we'll teach you how to use Zoom too. We should do a how to do Zoom session. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like we need to. Fran, talk thank you, Fran. Fran, thanks you, Dave, and the team. Excellent All right. energy. Thank well, you. You're Greg. the only people that are welcome. If you're not thanking us, you're not welcome. Yeah, no, really nice stuff. <laughs> so I'm just scrolling through, but we'll go. We'll scroll through, and if there's anything burning, we'll get back to you. Yep. It's been wonderful. Thanks for coming. I think this was the biggest jet. We had about at one point I looked 280 people, maybe something like that. It was amazing. No, yep. so, good, good job. All right. ISI team. The chat can't be sent. The three dots aren't showing. No problem. Just well, you're, you're every, all the attendees are going to get the chat emailed to them along with what else? Yep. What else? What else gets sent to them, Dave? The recording, oh. the slide deck. Yep, and the, the, chat. the recording, uh, the slide deck. I don't know if the slide deck's going. The recording will be there if you want to do it. If you have specific questions, there's so much. There's like 180 slides. Nobody wants that. I got a chicken mask. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! All well, right, how do we ladies. order swag? How do we order swag? The Dave glasses, the Raphael mug, oh, the Greg I've, headset, I'll, the Sally heated vest. I have this heated vest. I just post on Facebook. <laughs> I have to tell you, it is so badass. I push the button. Sorry. And it friggin' heats up. So I live in Utah. It's cold. So yeah, we need to start doing swag. Love the glasses, Raphael. Oh yeah. Yeah. I want the Rafa glasses. Huh? Yeah. Let's Rafa, the Rafa glasses. Okay, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, fantastic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever want to engage us for business, this is what it is. You get the full disclosure. You what you see is what you get. And if you don't like it now, I guarantee it. You won't like it then. <laughs> If you don't you like, like it now, it. you won't like it later. That's you won't like it later. This is this is this is the real deal. But thank you very much. Thank you, Sally. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Rafa. Thank you, Peter. Peter's on next month. Uh, appreciate you guys. Let us know if there's anything that we can do for you. We would love to help. And if you filled out any of those those polls, you can expect to get information back from us. 
Uh, appreciate everybody signing up for SAM.bid with the AMP system. That's awesome. And uh, we look forward to that is a, an entire program. Once you get there, it, it's an immersive program as, as you're going to find to be able to let to, to leverage that. So we appreciate you guys joining us. You just don't know what you're getting into. And the fact that it's not just a subscription to be there because you get Monday roundtables in that where we get together every Monday with these yeah, folks. Monday, twice. you get together twice Monday. See you Monday, twice everybody. Monday. All right, guys. Thanks much. Have Bye. a great, great, happy new year. And uh, thanks for joining us today.